basic idea was to balance the tips of the legs along these uh, styrene strips here so that there would be a little bending room as far as the angle of the LED goes. Right now I've got them set pretty much where I want but you can see that you can definitely move the angle here a few times at least. Eventually those wires are going to get uh, tired of being bent and that will be that. I did burn out one LED here. Uh, it is a pretty good gouge I gave it. So that was as I was uh, shaving the tip down. It loosened up and the uh, grinding wheel just sliced into the middle of it destroying the filament. So all these uh, Rather than doing a single wire from every LED to a bus point, essentially these are all run together. All the parallels are on parallel and the negatives are on negative. So if any single LED burns out, it will only be that LED that burns out. And uh, each one has its own resistor. To uh, change the brightness levels, like if adding the blue LEDs makes it too bright, then what I'll do is just put a master resistor on the power going in so this will be the white channel I'll have another set of wires that will cover just the blue LEDs so that will be the blue channel and uh, they'll each get additionally resistored before they go to the main power to uh, finesse their brightness I'll do the same thing for the ceiling here where <clears throat> off of say this uh, power lead here I'll just put a couple resistors that will dim everything could be five or ten thousand uh, K worth of resistors. We'll see how it goes. But uh, it's nothing I'm too worried about. And I was thinking about turning all these LEDs around 180 degrees so they were pointing outwards. But looking at it now, that's definitely going to be a difficult thing to do. Because even this LED here shows that, you know, just simply turning things around isn't going to work out because of the way I wired it all. So, that's not too much of a problem. I'll bend down the ones that are uh, sticking above the uh, ceiling line and shave off any others that don't quite make it. So, there's definitely a couple right there. One other trick I came up with, and <clears throat> I don't know if I can adequately describe how I did it, but basically I picked one wire here this became the end of a foot long wire so I measured out an inch or so and then just basically I used my thumbnail to pull a little bit of uh, exposed wire out of that strung it into that one into the next one and so on so these wires here especially this black one this is one continuous piece of wire that I just simply stripped a little bit mid-length looped around the uh, leg of the LED measured it out, ripped off a little bit more uh, insulation, wrapped it around, and uh, soldered it up to the end. I think uh, this entire piece here is one wire. So uh, rather than doing individual wires to the master, which definitely would have been uh, difficult. So over here, we're going to have a yellowish-green LED for the uh, elevator. A couple warm white ones, probably some yellow or an orange to add a little more warmth to the stairway. And then uh, an LED behind each of these doors here, which will probably be a flashing RGB or two of them. Just to give uh, some life to that. Where else? And one LED in each of the uh, landing bays here. I haven't figured out exactly where that's going to go or how it's going to go in there. So uh, it may be time to start thinking about the landing gear. We'll see about that. And uh, we'll go from there. I definitely want to get as much work done on this before I put the legs in. Because those, however strong they are, are definitely going to be seeing a lot of stress. So uh, that'll be it. All the electronics for the base deck here will essentially be wired into one module. The uh, bottom of the deck here will have its own wiring module underneath the bottom somewhere here for all of those LEDs, which I may be able to start sorting out pretty soon. And then uh, this top here will also have its own uh, module as well as far as being able to unplug and plug. There might even be an elevator LED that goes up top there. i got to research that. 
So uh, I think that's it for this installment. Up next I'll do a little more wiring and uh, yeah we'll see about how it goes after that. I'm just getting the kit back together, putting all the parts out, seeing where everything needs to go and I'm definitely thinking that uh, painting is up soon. I just got to figure out exactly when I can and want to do it. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.